Hey there guys, it's Joey. So this is a video on my Moen Vine Altar. I've been updating my seasonal altar with the Ogham, so this video is kind of late. The season actually started on the 1st, the 1st of September. I decided to hold off and create the altar space on my actual birthday on the 4th. And it's been so busy since then I haven't had a chance to record it, so we're gonna we're gonna record it now. So the main, I guess, <laughs> focal point of this is the beautiful new altar cloths that my sister of the craft and my sister of blood bought me and I kind of love that those are both present in my birth ogham month on the, the altar. There's something incredible about that, I love it. and. The central one is the one that my friend, sister in the craft, bought me, and then underneath is the one that my blood sister bought me. So the one underneath is the sort of Celtic design with the purple, and the purple for vine. I tend to associate vine more with the blackberry vine, if you watch the Ogham videos on, on that subject. There is some push-pull about grapevine versus blackberry vine but for me personally given the climate and everything blackberry vine tends to call to me more because that's what I see in my in my countryside and you can get grapes in England they grow grapes in England and things but where I am you know my countryside around me there's a lot of blackberries so it just and there always have been thinking about it so it just makes more sense to me so having that purple undertone is really great. I really wanted some purple altar candles, but we kind of spent more than we meant to in the crystal place, and therefore I couldn't really go into town and get some of the larger candles. So we'll talk about the candles in a minute. I want to focus on the altar cloths first. So then we have as a center point this beautiful Irish altar cloth that my dear friend my sister bought me when she was in Ireland and the pattern is of the vine leaf and because of this beautiful pattern and the, the pentagram at the center I didn't want to have too much clogging up that visual and therefore there is a very limited amount of amethyst usually there's amethyst all around the bottom of the goddess statue which is at the center however I really wanted you to be able to see that beautiful artwork and the points on the pentagram, those those branches, those twigs, uh, and that's the focal point where the goddesses are, which I love. You know, the, the, the goddess energy, the deity energy is the focal point of the pentagram, which is all about cone of power, balance of elements. I love it. I love that idea. So at the centre, as always, is the, as I already said, is the goddesses, and there is a blend here of rose petals, blackberry leaf and some rose buds. My dear friend, my other dear friend, uh, included some rose buds for me in my birthday present that she sent and I wanted them present. I wanted that love energy present and so mixing the blackberry leaf for the ogham itself and the rose and the rosebuds felt right to me. It's very much my month, so my love for my deity, my love for my path, that sort of thing. And as usual, the, you know, the little birth toadstool, but he's at the front because it's my birth month. And the amethyst in the middle, the spirit, ameth spirit quartz amethyst over there, and then a little point of amethyst, and of course the toadstool circle face circle you know that that tripping between other worlds type energy I love the mystique of fairy rings and a lot of people are gonna go what you don't you know follow Fay particularly well the, the Celts often uh, are viewed as Fay in modern tellings of the myth that as the Christian aspect came through they were sort of changed into elements of fae so I think the energies are quite closely linked 
to layer. And I love how they stand out against this altar cloth. This altar cloth is amazing. So then we have the four corners as usual, earth, air, fire, water and spirit at the back there. And the amethyst is actually limited to four pieces on each corner rather than around the center as we've discussed and then the point in the bowl. As I think I've discussed that before, the point quite masculine is on the goddess side and the dish, the bowl is quite feminine is on the masculine side and that's because it's the male and the female and the male and the female and the female and the male meaning that all energies are present within deity. Balance. The Morrigan offering bowl and the Morrigan offering dish and the Morrigan statue. This statue has moved and once you see my updated Morrigan altar next, you'll know why. But I decided to have her on here. It doesn't balance anymore on the other altar and I like that them balanced virgo I I don't know, whatever. Um, but she's... <laughs> She already had a foothold on here anyway, so you know. And then the goddess offering bowl, which I love. The ogum has actually fallen out of the offering bowl. Come here, you. You do like to argue, don't you? There you go. And there's the ogum for vine. And the fire corner. Right, so in the god corner, we have my... They're basically my Maybon candles. They're from the fragrant temple online for it, the fragrant temple uk online. And I love them. They're really dark and rich with the leaf print on and the spiral sort of Karunanos image. I love it. And down the bottom are the usual crystals with some more of the herbal blend that we talked about. There you go. And then over here is the goddess. Again, you can see the beautiful artwork on this candle. And again, there we go. Herbal blend down the bottom. So that is it for the Mwen Vine altar. It's reasonably simple but I really wanted the altar cloths to shine through because they're just so prominent, so beautiful in this altar work. Okay, many blessings.